Hi, and today we are doing a comparison of the Ranchilio, the latest version M, to the Crossland CC1, latest version as well. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. As you probably already know, you've heard that a million times, but yeah, it's me. We're gonna compare these two machines because they are really very comparable in a lot of ways. If you were to take the Ranchilio without the PID that we add on here at Seattle Coffee Gear, the price is virtually the same. The difference is the Crossland CC1 at the same price has the PID already built into it. So that's something to think about. So let's just talk about the two machines. The Crossland CC1 metal casing, as you can see, nice brushed stainless steel. Uh, water tank is right down here in the front, and it's a little bit awkward to come out. It comes out like this. I won't take it out all the way because of those two hoses, but it holds uh, 67 ounces of water. Has a full-size 58 millimeter non-pressurized portafilter. That's uh, professional size is what it is. Same as you're going to find on the big commercial machines. Has a PID that's built in that you can program the temperature boiler of the boiler. Pre-infusion time, wait time, and brew time. And also, it has three programmable cup sizes you can do too. One, two cup, and they call, they call it a pod, but that's it's not meant for pods, it's meant to just another programmable button. So you have three program, programmable for those parameters I already talked about. Digital readout and steam. This is a single boiler machine with a thermo block for the steam side, stainless steel boiler. All right, that's the basics. Uh, the thermo block, the steam uh, is a little bit slower on this, but it's more manageable for people that are not used to doing it. And it has a single hole steam arm. Steam knob here, on off button on the side. Pretty basic. Solenoid valve now on the newer version, instead of the rod coming down in the front, it's right there goes down into the drip tray. Nice. Actually, this is a nice size drip tray. Take a look at that. Here's the drip tray on the Sylvia. That's always been a bit of a complaint with folks is it's a lot, you know, it's pretty slim. But on the Sylvia, if they make it bigger, the size of the machine goes up height-wise. So that has a stainless steel insert on the CC1. Now let's go over to the Sylvia and finish it off. This is a, you can see a metal chassis down here, stainless steel casing all around, a little bit of metal on the sides here. Drip tray right there. This also has a three-way solenoid valve and it comes down right, where is it? It's right over here. You can feel it if you stick your hand down in there. Bring your hand over here, come here. Stainless steel grate. A traditional steam arm as well, single hole right here. Uh, these are your buttons that control instead of having a digital, digitally controlled machine. This has actual physical buttons. This is your brew button. This is for dispensing hot water out of the steam arm. And this is for if you want it to do steam. I'm going to get the steam going on this one so that I can show you how they steam. And it takes a little bit for that thermal block to come up to temperature. This one also, if you put this on, with the PID, which controls the temperature, pre-infusion, wait time, and brew time on this one. Again, if you, if you have the PID, which we add on, and you're trying to brew, which is using this button here, you have to have this in the on position or it won't brew. We get that all the time. It won't work, it won't work. But we're gonna shut that off because we wanna do some steaming. This is the new uh, on-off button that they have up here, the new light. It's just a light, really. Green shows that it's on, and this yellow shows that the boiler is heating. That's what that's all about. Water tank right back here, which is 67 or 8 ounces. One more ounce. Comes out like that. And don't worry about the shorter uh, hose. That's the return for overpressure from the uh, boiler, so it doesn't need to be in the water but this one does. The one with the V-cut on the bottom is supposed to be in the tank, in the water. Your lid right here, easy access. Stainless steel, like I said, all around. This is, controls your steam. Eh, so 
That's basically the two machines. 58 millimeter portafilter. They're both going to come with the single and the double. All right, so let's show the steam on this. And first I'm going to put it into the drip tray so that it doesn't uh, make a mess all over the countertop. See, it tells you it's ready too. And that thumping, that's the thermal block. <clears throat> all right, that's the steam on that one. Woohoo, hot. You can see that the Sylvia is a much stronger steamer. But this you have more control. So six of one, half a dozen of the other. Look at the pattern it makes too. Kind of cool, huh? Now that I made a mess, I'm the one that has to clean it up. So no sweat there. The Sylvia is a little bit shorter, I can see. Uh, your cup warmer up here, this does not come off. You just wipe it in place. This one, the cup warmer actually comes off so that you can wipe it. And since there's holes in here, you're probably going to be wiping down there too. So that's a pretty good comparison of those two machines. Any further stats that you really would like to know, go to our webpage and under description, and then you'll see a slot that says additional information. Get in there and there's all the stats, height, weight, all that kind of stuff. Check it out. If you have any questions, always give us a call, chat us up on an email, and uh, comments down below. Let us know what you think of these two machines because I know they're out there. I know you guys have them. Let us know what you think, any comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next comparison.